Hi guys, welcome back to Modern Swahili. So today I have a very exciting recipe I'm going to show you guys. It's mkate wa mayai. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Mubins. When I was a kid, my mom used to take me to Mubins to have some mkate wa mayai and mshakiki. Those were the best times of my life, guys. Today I thought to myself, I'm going to make some mkate wa mayai and just chill and appreciate my mom for all the good times that she gave me all we're gonna need is some beef which we're gonna put in a pan and take it and put some salt in it and season it with some cumin let it cook you want it to cook all the way through because with ground beef you don't want to have any red in it guys i didn't cover that just let it cook until it's very dry now let's go ahead and start preparing our other ingredients we have some eggs and we have some samosa wraps which you can get from an asian shop or a supermarket we have some rice paper which we are also going to be uh, combining with the samosa wraps we have some ginger which we're gonna grind into a very fine paste together with our garlic some red onions which we're going to chop into very thin slices because just that gives it a very a very nice taste we have some lime we got some coriander which we're gonna chop royco cubes this is optional guys you can use any kind of beef cubes you like i use royco because hey i'm kenyan <laughs> we have some salt which we're going to add into our beef can, you can do this two ways guys you can do it with the samosa wrap only or you can combine the samosa wrap and the rice paper so let's go ahead and start chopping our onions into very thin slices and then we want to go and chop them into very small cubes now that we're done with chopping our onions we are going to run our knife again through the onions just to make sure that we get everything you know sometimes you can have some bigger chunks run your knife through and make sure that everything is properly cut let's put that on a plate and let's get into chopping our coriander guys this time I'm not gonna forget to measure the coriander. Most of the times when I'm cooking, I always forget, but this time I caught myself. Already measured that and we're gonna go into just roughly chopping it and running our knife through the coriander one more time. We're going to take that and place that aside. Let's go ahead and smash our ginger and garlic. Take a spoon and scoop that out. I always advise people to always prepare your ingredients before you start cooking. It just makes things so easy and things just go by so fast. You don't get tired and you're just having a good time while you're cooking. You don't have to go and grab something from the shelf or something from the fridge because you have everything with you. Our meat is looking pretty good. We just want to also be breaking down the big chunks of beef that are there. Let's add in our beef cubes and to help us break the beef chunks, let's add in some water. Get that all up guys so that everything can be smooth. You know, you don't want to be eating big chunks. Let's add in our garlic and ginger paste, squeeze in our half a lime and mix that all together i added in some oil just to also fry it and make the water dry out quicker we added in our coriander we're just gonna shake it and let that rest guys until it cools rub our one egg for sealing our katua mayai when we're going to be doing the whole process of wrapping soak your rice paper in some water this is gonna smoothen really quick so here we have to work really fast we're going to add in three teaspoons of the onion two tablespoons of beef mixture break an egg in there season with some salt and paper mix that all together to take our rice paper put it on a flat surface take our samosa wrap and just put it on top of the rice paper pour our mixture in the middle and try to get like a square shape before we start folding so now we're going to take one side and bring it in and then take the other side and bring it also in then the edges too we're going to do the same thing with the rice paper you don't have to seal it with the egg white so because the rice paper is already wet it just seals itself automatically but with the samosa wraps you will have to seal it with the egg white i'm going to do the same thing but with the samosa wrap you don't soak it in water you just use it like that 
fold it and take your egg white try to seal the samosa wrap so that's it guys so this is actually two methods you can use if you don't have the rice paper but if you have the rice paper just use the rice paper with the samosa wrap both ways are possible let's add some oil in our pan and let's get into cooking our mkato mayai so don't be shaking them around guys wait for a few minutes until you see that the mkato mayai is loosening up you want to wait a little bit and then just turn it over because it's gonna move on its own once it's just cooked it's gonna be flexible to move around go ahead and turn it and then just give it a few more minutes to cook on the other side press it down a little bit so that the egg can cook because everything is already cooked here we're just trying to make sure that the egg is getting enough heat our mkato is are done the one with the rice paper and now we're gonna do the one without the rice paper pour some oil on it and this one guys i poured a bit more oil on it because it gives the mkato mayai a good pattern if you want a darker pattern to your mkato mayai pour a little bit of um, oil on top of the mkato mayai and let the oil run through but if you're trying to cut out on the oil just a little oil before you start cooking just look at this i wish you would join me to eat this stuff this stuff is so good and serve it from shakikis or a salad and try the recipe leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel thanks guys i hope you really enjoy it and brings up some memories too